hello my beautiful flowers welcome back to my channel on today's video we are going to be doing a cash envelope stuffing of paycheck number one of june so today we're going to be stuffing 779 dollars so i'm going to go ahead and get my cash set up everyone's having a great day. I have this new cash holder here that I'm using. It'll hopefully make it a little bit easier for me to reach the bills. And so we are going to start off with my wallet. I'm going to grab my cash envelopes. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do, well, yeah, I'll get my cash envelopes out first. And then I also have a bunch of change in here. My friend here she's really heavy I have my friend Miss Piggy I'm gonna go ahead and fill her up with all of my change So there she is, Miss Piggy has been fed for a week. So then we are gonna see what cash I have left over in my envelopes. So for groceries, I have $5. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to the side, let you guys know what I'm gonna do with that. Eating out, I have a dollar left. Spending has one, two, three, four dollars. And gas, shockingly, has 15 which is really rare for how how crazy gas prices are. So we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oops, I forgot a five there. 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I have decided that I'm going to um, invest all my rollover money from my envelopes, um, from you know money that I don't spend throughout the week on my everyday items. I just was looking for kind of a way to have at least some of my income set aside for investing. So I think this will be a really great way. So probably at the end of this, the month, I will go ahead and put all of this into investing. And I need to make this envelope, I know, but set this to the side now. And we're going to fill up these. So groceries for this week is going to get $50. I'm going to do two 20s and a 10. Eating out is going to get $20. I'm going to do two 10s. Spending is also going to get $20. And gas is going to get 40. Man, this 20 is all messed up. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in my wallet. Next on the list, we have my husband Zach is going to get $30 for his wallet, so I will just set that off to the side. And on to our um, utilities and phone. These are actually located in my high priority binder. So utilities is the first one and that is going to get $47 this week. Do two 20s, a five, and two ones. So utilities now has 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72. I'm 
All right, phone is going to be getting 34. So we have 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, and... That makes our total for phone so far. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, and 84. All right. Now we are on to our regular sinking funds. So health is going to be getting 65 this week. I have a couple of appointments that I'll be needing to pay for soon. So I'm trying to get this a little bit higher so that I can um, cover the cost of those. So we have 50, 100, 150, 160, 170, 175, 180, 185. So 185 is our balance in health. Something new I did this week is you'll see on most of my envelopes, I have written in Sharpie just a little goal. Um, so for health, it'd be great if I can get this to a thousand, I would feel really comfortable. Um, so what I'll do is my goal will of course be a thousand. And once I reach that, I won't stuff it anymore. However, if I happen to take money out, you know, I need to pay for medicine or an appointment, then I would stuff it till it got to a thousand again, and then I would stop again. So just kind of like, a note to myself that a thousand is the max that I want to have in this because I really don't see a need to have more as of right now unless I have like a procedure coming up all right insurance so insurance we're adding $38 so this is paying for my car insurance um, uh, and renters insurance as well I'm just saving saving up for my yearly premium and my six-month premium so Let's see, get this all organized. And my goal for this one is 800. Luckily I have a really good, wow, I'm really bad at sorting this. Yeah, luckily I have a really good insurance rate on our cars, me and my husband's cars, and our renter's insurance is not that bad at all. So, all right, insurance now has 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. 313 and I believe we need to reach this goal of 800 by September I think so I will just have to make sure when I do my when I budget out for the month that I'm putting enough aside to make that goal so check out my budget with me video to see how I do that all right next we have sorry these are out of order um, I rearranged my binders recently into high and low priority and I did not do so on my um, my stuffing sheet here. So we're gonna go down to house, which is getting 43. So this is me and my husband saving for a down payment on our house. Um, we have some in the bank already. However, this is just kind of what I've saved since I started stuffing um, a few months ago. So I would say we're doing pretty darn good for only a couple months worth of stuffing on this. So house um, has 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 556, 657, 758, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 950, 955, 56, 57, 58. So 900, 1,958. And my goal for this one by the end of the month is to get another 1k slip in here. So I think I'm going to be able to make it. And our overall goal for this is 10,000, which is insane. I don't know if we'll reach it before we actually go to buy a house, but you never know. Emergency is getting $38. My first goal for emergency is 2,000. So 
I'm hoping to reach it by the end of the year. I'm not 100% sure if that'll happen, but hopefully it does. All right, so Emergency currently has 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 500, 5, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So 513. Yay, we finally broke the 500 mark. Did I say 515? Oh no, you guys. <laughs> 500, 513, that's what it was, 513. So we currently have 513 in emergency. And then this is my bank envelope. This is all the money that um, I've made purchases with my debit card and I need to reimburse my buffer in my bank account. All right, so that is it for high priority and we're gonna move on to low priority. So first we have gifts. Gifts is getting $20. I don't remember if I'm doing two tens or 20, so I'm just gonna do a $20 bill. So gifts now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. And I got asked you guys once before, but I don't think I heard back from anyone on if they think I should do a separate envelope for Christmas. That's something I haven't decided on because right now my gifts envelope is all gifts for everything, birthdays, uh, Christmas, all that stuff. So let me know what you guys think and if I should. Entertainment is going to get $17. And if these numbers seem kind of random to you, like I said, just check out my June budget with me video and it explains how I get these numbers. Um, but basically I set goals for each of my sinking funds for the month. And then I divide the, the amount that I need to reach that goal. I divide it by the number of times I will be stuffing my sinking funds. So my husband and I are getting, we only stuff with his sinking funds. So he's getting it paid twice this month. So I took my goal for whatever that um, sinking fund was and I divided that by two and that'll tell me how much I need to stuff every time we do it to reach that goal. Hopefully that made sense. But entertainment now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So entertainment now has 104. And entertainment I also use for like date night and stuff. I don't use it just for... Um, entertainment because I consider date night kind of entertainment um business is a new envelope for me and I have not created it yet but I'm doing 25 in business I have started a small side hustle which I don't expect to be making very much income yet we'll see how that pans out um so I'm just gonna do 25 in that for now all right so that means business has 25. All right, my husband, Zach, this is kind of, he gets a separate amount for um, the week for like just casual spending, but this is kind of like stuff that, a special thing that he is saving for. I don't know if any of your partners or anyone in your life does the same thing, but my husband loves collecting swords. And so this is his sword fund <laughs> that's slowly building. So we added 13 and now he has 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. And my little goal for him is 300. So he has 28. All right. Man, these are still out of order. Uh, vacation is getting 28. I think this summer we're gonna go somewhere, hopefully. Now that things are opening up a little bit, it would be really great if we could go. Um, so vacation now has 100, 150, 200, 
Wow, how did I just count that? 51, 152, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 423. And my goal for vacation is 2,000. Did I say 423? Yes. If I'm wrong, if it's not 423, let me know down in the comments, guys, and I will get that fixed. So. All right. Car maintenance or just like a car fund in general is going to get 30. So car now has 100, 150, 170, 190, 210. Uh, sorry guys, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 420 now is in car. And my ultimate goal for car uh, is 1,000. All right, furniture is getting $47. So like I said, we're saving for a down payment on a house, so we would need furniture to go in that house. So that is what this fund is for. In furniture, we have 50, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 304 in furniture. Clothes is getting 15. Not really needing any clothes right now, so I'm not stuffing this one very much. Clothes has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. And last but not least, we have baby. Um, I got this idea from Tara Budgets, I believe, and she had a little baby fund. I think she, I think it's Tara. I'll put on the screen if it's someone else. But um, she always says she's not having a baby anytime soon, but wants to start saving for one. So I was really inspired by that. So I decided I would go ahead and start doing the same. So props to her for thinking of that. I don't know if she's the original one to think of it, but she's the one I got it from. So... <laughs> I digress. So now we have 10, 15, and 20 in baby. And I don't know how reachable that goal is by the time my husband and I actually try to have a child, but we put 2,000 there. Just kind of an arbitrary number. So baby now has 20. All right, and that is it for our low priority. And next, we are going on to our 100 envelope challenge. So my husband's paycheck was a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. So we're able to stuff $149 into our 100 envelope challenge. So the first envelope we're going to do is I really want to get these big ones out of the way. So we're going to do the 99. And if you guys didn't already see, I have um, a video up with me creating my 100 envelope challenge and how I how I set it up, my kind of DIY cheap version that I did. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, and 99. I'm gonna double check that. 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. So today is the 10th, I believe.
Cross Out number 99. We are also going to do the 48, which I don't know how I did that, but I somehow... Oh, I think I, I know it. So we're not going to do 48. <laughs> what do I have left? Let's see. I have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I have 50 bucks left. So... If I have 50, I think I'll do the 40 and the 10. Might as well. So let me get those out. I wanted to try and do bigger numbers, but I've actually already done number 50. So let's do 40. So we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Cross it off on here. And the number 10. Also, in that 100 envelope uh, challenge setup video, I am taking predictions on how long it'll take me to finish the 100 envelope challenge. So, if you guys want to head over to that video and leave a comment with how long you think it'll take me, there could be a prize possibly, possibly involved. And if you get it correct. Now it may be a couple years before you can cash in on that prize, but it is still very much a possibility that you could get it. All right, and we did number 10. All right, and I'm just gonna mark on here for my, oops, for my records, which ones we did. We did 99, we did 40, and we did 10. All right. So that is all I have for you today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the stuffing. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment down below with any suggestions you have. Leave a like and of course subscribe if so you don't miss another video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and bye-bye.